What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and we are back with even more iPhone XR accessories, this time for the yellow phone. Out of all of the colors of the iPhone XR, I genuinely thought that this would be the hardest video to make, but for some reason, the yellow smartphone accessories are plentiful, and there are even some particularly weird ones out there on the market, with a very odd product being featured here in this video. If you happen to miss any of the other iPhone XR accessory videos featuring the other colors that I made, I'll have links down below in the video description and in the comment section so you can check those out if you'd like. But as always, if you are interested in learning more about any of the products featured in this video or perhaps picking one up for yourself, I'll of course leave links to everything down below at their lowest prices. And as always, I will be giving away an item featured here in this video to one of you guys. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and let me know which product was your favorite and I'll be selecting a winner on February 18th. So before we go any further, I'd like to take just a second to give a special thanks to today's video sponsor sponsor, bookmark.com. If you're trying to create an online presence for yourself or your business this year, or maybe you'd like to just build a simple website but don't know where to start, Bookmark is an easy to use and completely free website builder powered by AI. You can create a professional looking website in just a matter of minutes by answering seven simple questions and letting Ada, Bookmark's artificial intelligence design assistant, do all the rest. There's hundreds of themes and styles to choose from, including e-commerce integration to take your business to the next level, and it can all be done with no programming or coding skills required. Required. If you're interested in getting a jump start on building your online presence in 2019 with a free and easy to use website builder, check out the link in the video description to bookmark.com to learn more. And thanks so much again to Bookmark for making today's video possible. Like each episode before this, we'll start things off with a smartphone essential, and that would be a case. This one is from a company called ZTO Top, I believe, and their listing also has every other color to match the other iPhone XRs too. So if you like this style of case, but maybe yellow isn't really your thing, they they probably have a color that you would like. This is a pretty thick case overall that's going to do well in protecting your phone with complete coverage of every corner and every edge of the device. It's a hard plastic case with TPU sides which make it firm overall but flexible enough on the edges to easily pop on and off the phone. Even with the case providing a decent amount of protection for the iPhone, it's still a very comfortable case overall that isn't too bulky and certainly doesn't affect using the phone. What I like in particular about this case though is that you've got a little extra material and protection where you need it most. The corners of this case are extra thick with almost an additional bumper layer, and with how delicate these phones are being all glass, it's no surprise that a corner fall will absolutely destroy it. But with this case, you don't have to worry because you've got even more material at that critical spot on the phone. I like the color combination with this case too. It matches the phone pretty well, and I mean, yeah, the whole setup does kind of look like SpongeBob, but it's cool. This case retails for about 14 bucks right now on Amazon. It's a highly rated Amazon product, and all in all, in a sea of countless smartphone cases, I think this one does stand out and it's definitely worth the investment. Next up, we've got a really nice portable Bluetooth speaker from JBL. This is the JBL Go and it too comes in a ton of different other colors as well, which is awesome. It's probably the second highest rated portable Bluetooth speaker on Amazon right now behind the Anchor Soundcore and it's definitely worthy of such a high accolade. First off, I personally love the design here. It's got that sort of retro square look that sort of resembles a guitar amp and I think it's way cooler than the usual elongated and fairly ugly Bluetooth speakers that are out there right now. You've got a thick rubber material protecting the edge of the speaker with your usual button controls easily accessible up top and a couple ports off to the side as well. This is actually the previous generation of this particular speaker. JBL does have the Go 2 with a different design and lighter color yellow, but I like the look of this one obviously, and also you can save a little money here since there aren't any major differences between the second generation. You're still getting an excellent, tough little speaker with good battery life and a great listening experience. Here's just a quick sample so you can hear it for yourself. It's like not even three and a half inches across, so this thing is very tiny and obviously very portable. You could almost put it in your pocket, honestly, if you wanted to. But even at that size, it's still plenty loud and very clear. And all in all, it's well worth the 20-something bucks it retails for right now. So a standalone Bluetooth speaker is great, but have you ever thought to yourself, man, I wish this Bluetooth speaker could also wirelessly charge my phone? Well, you wonderfully weird person, your dreams have come true because this thing does just that. 
For some reason, the folks at Askew made a two-in-one Bluetooth speaker and Qi charger. So while you're chilling at your desk listening to your music, you can just drop your phone right on top of this thing and it'll start charging. And yes, it really does work. I was personally kind of skeptical, but there it is, just charging away. You even get this blue glowing ring light underneath that lets you know it's working. As far as the speaker part of this product, that also gets the job done too. For all intents and purposes, it's just your regular old Bluetooth speaker that connects to your phone and plays out loud. And here's an audio sample of that so you can experience it too. Last time that I saw your face was recess in second grade and it made me feel young. Overall, it sounds pretty good, it certainly gets very loud, and considering it is this strange two-in-one product combination, I'm not going to criticize much here. If anything, I just appreciate the creativity, and apparently this thing has been out for a while now, so it's really surprising I haven't stumbled upon it before. And honestly, for around 20 bucks, you kind of are getting a good deal considering it is two products in one. I personally didn't know I needed something like this on my desk, but in all seriousness, it is kind of fun and a pretty good product overall. If you just need a wireless charging stand, that doesn't play music, this one from Chotech is a solid option. You might have already seen that I did feature the blue one in my blue 10R accessories video. I wanted to also feature the yellow one here in this video just to sort of see how well the color matched. And unfortunately, we are a little off here, but that's okay. Even if it's not quite right, the charger itself is a great standalone product. I won't spend too much time on it in this video because most of you guys have seen it before, like I said, but it obviously will wirelessly charge your phone while keeping it upright so you can still check for notifications and things. And it doesn't matter if the phone is portrait or landscape, it'll still charge either way, which is great. Another solid product at that 20 something dollar mark that I really have no complaints about whatsoever. As far as headphones and earbuds, I unfortunately couldn't find anything all that interesting in a decent shade of yellow, which is the excuse I'm going to use for featuring a pair of Beats in this video. I know, I know, Beats products tend to be overpriced and overhyped, but these wired Ear Beats 3 are a great upgrade over the regular old ear pods you get in the box with the phone. I think one question a lot of people will ask with these in particular is how the sound profile is, and I have to say, it's surprisingly balanced. You'll see online some of the reviews for these earbuds mention the fact that there isn't a whole lot of bass, and with every other pair of earbuds and headphones, that would be a negative. But specifically for Beats products, I think that's a positive thing to say, honestly. What's also nice is you can usually find these on sale at different websites for 30 bucks or less, and at that price, I think they are a pretty good deal. Yes, there are plenty of wired and wireless earbuds and headphones out there on the market that are cheaper and better than most Beats products. I can absolutely admit that. But the object of the game here was to find a pair of yellow ones that went well with the iPhone XR, and I'm not sure you're going to find anything better than these. Take it or leave it, this is what I have for you as far as yellow earbuds, and if you know of anything better than these, definitely hit me up in the comments and fill us all in. And finally, we of course can't forget a nice all yellow lightning cable to complete the package. This one right here is from the folks at Incase. They've been in the smartphone accessory business now for quite a while actually, and they continue to produce some pretty good stuff, this lightning cable included. There isn't a whole lot to say, obviously, it's just your standard 3 foot lightning to USB cable. It's that flat profile, that sort of ribbon style, if you want to call it that, which is cool. But actually, the most important bits of the cable here are on the end. I always stress how Apple's lightning cables are just not built to last, and this is a perfect side by side comparison that lets you see what I mean. The in case cable on the left has a big, thick, sturdy lightning end with a flimsy little rubber piece protecting the cable on apples, so in theory, this one should last you a bit longer. The whole cable itself is just thicker overall, so certainly an upgrade for sure. And best of all, I think this yellow cable was $9.99, so about half the price of what Apple would charge to replace one of their own. It's not the most exciting upgrade in the world, definitely not the be-all, end-all accessory for your phone, but I think it's still something to consider if you're looking for a sturdy cable at a pretty good price. So there you go, those are a bunch of yellow accessories to maybe match up with your yellow iPhone X. R. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want a chance to win something featured here, just leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite item was, and I'll pick a winner soon. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.